Hello guys, welcome again to another episode of Pinoy in Australia on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about uh, cruise, con cruise control. So in this particular video, we are going to inspect all switches that are involved on uh, cruise control. And we are also going to see how important the scan tools when it comes to diagnosing the cruise control and using the scan tools you will see that uh, we will save heaps of time lots of time to diagnose the cruise control detecting whether the, the parts are working without dismantling the actual component so um, I hope you will learn something in this uh, video this guy continue watching this video Hello guys, welcome again to our uh, YouTube channel, uh, Pinoy in Australia. So right now we're going to discuss about cruise control of Nissan X-Trail. So if your cruise control is not working, what are the components that you need to check? If your vehicle is um, automatic transmission, uh, the component that you need to check is the cruise control sw switch located on your steering steering wheel and you need also to check the operation of stoplight switch so this vehicle consists of three stoplight switch so usually in manual transmission you only got uh, uh, one but in automatic transmission in this model particular model you got three so how will you know whether those parts are working? You need a scan tools. So right now my scan tools is set on the parameters section or page of the, of the scan tools. So first thing that we need to check is the brake switch. So and this one, this is your first brake switch. Or you can call it third because there is no, no number so this is your third brake switch if you're going to press it you need to monitor that on off switch on off uh, sign so i'm going to press the brakes so it changes it turns on i release it, it turn off so the the two remaining switch is in the bottom page of the scan tools so okay let me see okay there are this is the other two brake switch one and brake switch two so have a look on both uh, uh, switches this should switch if the other one turns on the other one should turn up okay have a look guys brake switch one is on on position the brake switch two is on off once i press that one the brake switch one should turn off and the brake switch two should turn turn on okay, i'm going to press it okay guys so it means our brake switch is working so the brake switch one turn off and the brake switch uh, to turn on. I'm going to release the brake pedal. Okay, it switch. The switch one, the brake switch one turn on. The brake switch two is turn off. So it tells us uh, that the brake switches are working. So what are the switches for? So those brake switches, when you apply the brakes, it cancel the um, the cruise control so the, the computer is monitoring whether they are working so once they are not working the um, uh, computer will set a fault to the cruise control and how about this uh, switch how do we check it 
So right now we're going to check the accelerator and uh, reset button. So on the scan tools, we need to find the reset and accelerator button. Uh, not reset, a uh, resume, sorry. So resume, that is the resume and accelerator button. So need to check the, the switch whether it's turn on or turn off. So I'm going to press the accelerate, accelerator and res, um, resume button. Have a look on the op, uh, symbol there and it will turn to on. So I'm going to press it now. So it's turned on. So it tells you that the switch is working. So the next switch that we need to monitor and check is the cancel button. So this cancel button. So where is it in the scan, to, scan tools? So cancel button is this one. So once I press that uh, button, it should turn on. So I'm going to press it, have a look. So it's turned on. So it tells us that the cancel button is working. So the next switch that we need to check is the, this one, the cruise on off. So where is it? The cruise on off is the main switch. See that uh, parameters with blue check, main switch, that the cruise on off switch. So I'm going to press it now. Have a look. Monitor it for me. I'm going to press it now. So it's turned on. I'm going to release it. It off. So it tells us that this button is also working. So the next one that we are going to check is set and cause button. So where is it? The set button is this one. The set button is this one. So I'm going to press it. Yes, it turn on. I'm going to release it. It turn off. So that's how you check your cruise control. So if the switches is working, it means that your switch works. Your clock spring is also working. Once those switches is not working, the parts that you need to check or the component of the cruise control that you need to check is the switches and the clock spring uh, on the steering. So the clock spring is some kind of uh, winded, winding, winded uh, uh, harness and that is the connection of the switches going to the uh, control module. So guys, uh, I hope you learned something on this video. So okay guys, see you on the next video that we will uh, do. If, you're, if you like this video, just click the like button and also press the subscribe button so every time we do uh, uh, we upload new video in YouTube you will be updated so guys uh, see you in the next video